Hello, my name's David and I'm the Head of R&D at Candle Shack. We hope you've been enjoying our candle recipe videos. Previously, we have been focusing on fragrance oils. Today, we are going to show you how to make an essential oil candle. We're going to make a candle using Alluring Essential Oil from Candle Shack. This recipe uses 100% plant wax and uses pure essential oil. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. What is an essential oil? Ancient philosophers believed that plant oils represented the spirit of the plant. This was known as the quintessence of the plant, which led to the term essential oil. They are typically extracted from plants by expression, distillation or extraction. For this recipe, you will need 202.4 grams of RCX wax, 17.6 grams of alluring essential oil, one LB2 wick, a 30cl ruby jar, a stickum and a sustainer. Today, we are using wooden wicks. As we are using a plant wax, RCX, we'll be using a booster wick. It's worth noting that a booster wick isn't suitable for all wax types. For example, if you were using a paraffin wax, you would use a single ply wooden wick. Before we wick the candle, we have to make sure that the wick is going to be the correct size. If you cut the wick into two sections, this will be the perfect size to make two candles. It's good to know that if you found the perfect wick for your 30cl candle glass, you can also use this in a 20cl tin because the diameter of the tin and the glass are very similar. We're now going to fix the wick to the sustainer. We're now going to secure the wick sustainer to the candle glass using a stickum. Make sure the wick is centered in the candle glass. For this recipe, you will need 202.4 grams of RCX wax and 17.6 grams of alluring essential oil. If you want to make more than one 30cl candle, multiply each measurement by the number of 30cl candles that you would like to make. And now on to melting and mixing. Today we're using a double boiler to melt the wax, but you can of course use a microwave as RCX is a plant-based wax. Melt the wax, then add the essential oil and stir the mixture well until all of the essential oil has dissolved in the wax. Allow your wax and essential oil mixture to cool to around 38 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, the mixture should become slightly cloudy and this is the right time to pour your RCX candles. Remember to leave your candles to set for at least 48 hours before lighting them. After the wax is set, trim your wick to 5mm for a great burning performance. And now it's time to light our essential oil candle. If you follow the recipe at home, please let us know how you get on in the comments. We hope this video will help you create an incredible essential oil candle, so that you can then concentrate on adding the one thing that we can't, you. Visit our website and find out more about our customised services. Laser etching technology works incredibly well with translucent glasses. Whether that's ruby, amber, emerald or sapphire, we can help you create that ambient glow.